The last video that I did, I showed you some of the really cool features of Compia Show. I want to show you my rig. It's so neat. All right. Make sure in the middle of getting some stuff ready for uh, this super awesome wrestling show that I have coming up, actually. Um, so let me kind of tell you what's going on, what's going on over here. Uh, you'll see the Medicon, which is also a violation. This is not a regular DMX board. If you look back here, all that's in is USB, took it up to the computer, and one for your lamp. So what is the MIDI-Con, you ask? Well, I'm glad that you asked, okay? The MIDI-Con is basically a full MIDI control board for uh, Compu Show. But what makes this unique, again, is you have a whole bunch of different sliders. You have your primary slider there for your master. You got your blackout buttons. Uh, you have flash buttons. For example, if I uh, shut, let's see. I can dim that there, but I can also, oh goodness, where is it? Let's go here, okay? I can also, you see right there, flash buttons. Now, they don't have to be flash buttons. They can be whatever I want, or I can make this a flash button. It doesn't matter. Point being is I can do whatever the heck I want. Now, this also has 16 pages. Uh, right here, you'll notice 16 pages there. 16 pages there. The pages affect these. So for example, this right here where it says A1, is to page one, so I can assign this to turn on like a light, like here. I use it to call my QWH5s, and then I can actually fade my QWH5s by themselves. If you look here, I can fade them just by themselves, even in the middle of a program, okay? So that's pretty exciting. But if I go to page two and hit the same button again, that takes me to my Nova scans right over here, okay? So again, absolutely exciting stuff there. If I don't like the Nova scans there, I can always just drag it over here or I can drag it over there to a different window. I can do whatever the heck I want with it. So that's, love it, love it, love it. Now the same thing applies here. Again, I use these to recall my shows. For example, page 16 goes to my master. Uh, let's, switch, let's go over here. And these are all the shows for the wrestling event that I have. However, I can go over here. I'm gonna call my QWH5s again. I can go to page one and I can select my shows there. Exciting! Okay, so. I can also go here, page, let's go back to page 16. I'm gonna call show six. All right, so you can see over here, it's got some basic stuff. Um, I can use these wheels to control different aspects. So like for example, I'm using this one to control the speed. So what's great about it is, is when I make a show, I don't have to worry about the speed because I can control that live. I, can, I also use this wheel to control phasing. Phasing means that one light will follow the other. So instead of all, all of them doing the exact same thing, there's a really cool fanning effect. And then number three, I use to size the stage. So whether if I want you know, the scanners, if I'm going up and down, if I want just a little short up and down or really long up and down, I can size it with that. Really cool. But get this, this thing has two individual modes as well. Because when you're programming the uh, board, let's go over here and I'll show you, okay? You'll notice again, it shows you everything in real time. Super great. But, um, oh, by the way, these are also mappable too, or uh, page, pageable too. So page two, now this is page two, fader one, page one, fader one. So it's not just eight faders the entire time. But if you check it out here, this is, allows me to basically control, you know, program my board. I have live, there's edition, general, console setup, et cetera there. But what's really neat is that I can actually, you know, use, the, or I can, there's a tab in there, so I can use them to program my shows. So for example, this isn't just to recall the shows, but if I'm in, you know, editor mode, making a show, making a scene, I can use my wheels to perfectly aim the lights and everything versus using my mouse and then hit a button to go to the next step. Whatever way you want to program it. When you buy the Minicon, it comes as a blank slate. And man, that's a pain in the butt at first, just because it takes a while to program it. But once it's just like any MIDI device, plug it in, tell it what you want, and you're good to go there. Uh, the overall rig that I'm currently using right now, uh, I'm actually using my old rack mount before I switch to Mac. And the reason is because with this, oh, let's turn the lights back on. Not that, huh? Wow, that's uh, really bright. There we go. Okay, so, and by the way, these are the Freak 16s here and the Freak 5s. A couple friends of mine asked me to talk about those, but we'll do that later because they're insanely bright. And as you can tell, I'm still in the middle of programming them. Here's something crazy. Remember how I said in the last video that you can just plug in a light and it'll automatically work? Uh, basically, I plug into Freaks. I told them, okay, uh, I'm loading into Freaks. They're on this channel. Great. 
and all these switches were automatically made for me. I was able to do this without any programming at all. All I had to do was just basically tell that I won button one to turn on my freaks momentarily and to assign it to the demo. That's it. So you can use a lot of that with programming, which is really cool. But anyways, I took my old uh, rack mount rig, uh, which is great because this thing can run four monitors at once. I can actually run up to eight if I get a couple more video cards. But right now, I only use two individual monitors. Uh, and what's also about copy show is it's not limited to just one or two monitors. There's not like, you know, only two pages with multiple buttons and tabs. No. Each individual page, which is a fixture, can be brought to its own monitor. It can be docked wherever the heck you want. So you can use as many monitors as you want. So you can imagine that my lighting people are going to their pants when they hook, so they hook up and they see a video rig with one of these, or if you want to do two, or whatever MIDI device you want, because CompuShow will take any MIDI device, it seems. Uh, so they'll have this, they'll have these two monitors, or they may even have four. You know, they'll also have the 3D thing off to the side so they can see their show live in case they're not, you know, near an area where they can see everything, how it's, you know, programmed and all that. It's killer. It's awesome. It's great. Uh, now, this particular, again, rig of mine, I have a little pull-out keyboard with a built-in mouse, but I use this mouse here because once the show starts, they just close close it up there, whoopsie, there we go, they just close it up there, and all you need is a mouse and a midi con. you don't have to worry about anything else in there, um, so I mean, that's really much it, this is just a great show, I absolutely love it, go crazy about it, uh, my computer hates me today though, but it's just awesome, um, the other really cool thing about this is that you can assign different profiles, so for example, when I got done with this midi, you know, with this midi con profile, um, I'll show you here, for example, right? You can select shortcut buttons, which I didn't talk about these. In the last video, I talked about favorites. So for example, here's a window here, and I can make a random window. So let's say I just save this one, and I call it favorites, okay? So when I click it, it takes me to this current setup. But then, if I click on CWF, it takes me to the window layout that I have for the wrestling part. Okay, now this is great because then I can assign them to individual shortcut keys. Okay, uh, so with the individual shortcut keys, I can assign one, I can have like a window layout and call it Arnaldo, meaning the setup that I like. I can do shortcut key two and call it Monica, which is where my lighting tech Monica, my sweet wonderful wife behind me set up there, or behind the camera. Uh, I can click that and you know, she can jump in and click S2 and then this board is exactly how she likes it. My other lighting tech, Derek, can jump in, jump in and click S3 for Derek and then it's automatically the way he likes it. So it's really cool. It's, you know, when you get in those fancy Cadillacs and you just push like, you know, the button one and your seats adjust automatically the way you like it, this is the equivalent. It's awesome. Freaking love it. Again, flash buttons are great. Uh, let's go back over here for a second. Flash buttons, you can do whatever you want. They don't have to be a flash button. It can be an actual button, but that's something that I thought was always neat. Uh, you can also use it to, again, call out a show. You can reset it with that. You could use it for fog, haze, whatever DMX will absolutely control. So again, copy show, I have the basic one too. Uh, I've got the basic one just because it works for me. Uh, tons of different ones. There's some with SD cards where you can run your own shows and everything on there. Um, but tons of different individual dongle or modules and all that. I got the basic because I can do everything that I want with it and it's super easy. Um, and that's it. Real simple. So again, Relation Copy Show. I'm using the QBasic currently. Lots of different options out there. Uh, MidiCon, which is my favorite board now. Actually, I'm going to have to get my hands on another one because more power. Arr, arr, arr. So that's it. My name is Arnaldo Offman with Master School Dances. A whole bunch of new stuff. And I got two more Inno Beans in. These things are amazing. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you, if you're on YouTube, you're going to subscribe right up there. If you are on Facebook, somewhere above my head, if it doesn't say, like Master School Dances, be one of the cool kids and click Master School Dances. For every time you do, God saves a kitten. Please, think of the kittens. Good night and God bless.